We found out about the western toads in 2013. So we sent a team of biologists and interns and they found thousands of little western toads migrating out of this pond and across the land. Doing a bit of research, we found out that it's actually an old gravel pit that's been naturalized over time. And so lots of species have started to congregate and breed in that area. Because of that, we started monitoring them annually. We found that they do this northwestern migration, and it's thousands and thousands of toads crossing over multiple different landowner properties, crossing over roads, and eventually dispersing into our terrestrial forests, where they spend the most of their adult life. This is where they forage, this is where they hibernate. So our terrestrial ecosystems are really important for the western toad. They use the aquatic wetlands and ponds to breed and to lay their egg masses and for the tadpoles to rear in. Wetlands throughout BC and Canada have very limited protection. They can be drained, they can be altered, developed, all those kinds of things. So those species that rely on the wetland habitat are seriously at risk. So that's one of the reasons why the toads are so threatened is because of the loss of habitat. This pond specifically also has other threats because the toads do a migration across roads. There's a lot of road mortality, both as juveniles when they're leaving the ponds, but as adults when they come back to that same pond to breed each year. In the early spring, as the ground starts to warm up and the air temperature increases, we'll see the adults come out of hibernation and migrate towards the ponds. So we start doing road surveys and we record the GPS locations where we see the toads. In the summertime, the juveniles will emerge out of the pond, thousands of, of little toads all at the same time. And we do the same road surveys that we do for the adults. We have been tracking to see where the largest amount of mortality happens on the roads as they're crossing and we're also trying to pick out the travel corridors that these toads use. In that area mostly we're working with the township of Langley and we have been able to set up toad crossing signs on the road during these migration periods and also temporary road closures. We've also in 2019 set up a fence that would help direct the toads under a culvert. This fence was successful. We did see a decline in the number of road mortalities we are able to have a larger impact because we get to be here year after year watching the same population in this little Campbell River watershed and working with the people. And a lot of them want to see this population of toads thrive. It encourages a lot of hope and we see a lot of really, really good work because of that.